if you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking. A. Park with your reverse lights on. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. C. Park 5 feet from the curb. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Drivers are responsible for making sure their vehicles do not become hazards after they have been parked. Wherever you park, make sure your car is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. You have stopped for a train at a railroad crossing. After the train passes, you should A. Wait for signal lights to stop flashing. B. Look for a second train. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. Even after a train passes, watch out for a second train approaching on any track. Do not proceed until all gates have been lifted and all warning signals have stopped flashing. If your vehicle starts to lose traction because of water on the road, you should A. Drive at a constant speed to gain better traction. B. Apply the brakes firmly to prevent your vehicle from sliding. C. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. C. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. When driving in heavy rain at speeds as low as 30 miles per hour, your tires may lose all contact with the road and instead ride up on a layer of water above the surface of the road. This is called, hydroplaning. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, slow down gradually and do not apply the brakes. This sign means A. Steep downgrade. B. Crossroad ahead. C. No right turn. D. Narrow bridge. A. Steep downgrade. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming steep hill. They should adjust their speed accordingly to avoid brake damage or collision. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When driving in fog, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. D. Hazard flashers. A. Low beam headlights. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, as well as your fog lights, if your vehicle has them. High beams direct their light upwards, where it can bounce off the fog and into your eyes, reducing visibility even more. Which of the following is true regarding seat belts and child restraints in vehicles? A. You should never place an infant or small child in the front seat of a vehicle with airbags. B. An airbag can be dangerous to an infant or small child, even in a low-speed collision. C. You should always make sure all your passengers are using a seat belt or child restraint. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Before you drive, always fasten your seat belt and make sure all your passengers are using seat belts or child restraints. Studies have shown that if you use seat belts, your chances of being hurt or killed in a traffic crash are greatly reduced. Children age 12 and under should always ride properly restrained in a rear seat. Never put a rear-facing infant restraint in the front seat of a vehicle with a front passenger airbag. To turn left from a multi-lane one-way street onto a one-way street, you should start your turn from A. Any lane, as long as it is safe. B. 
the lane closest to the left curb. C. The lane in the center of the road. B. The lane closest to the left curb. When turning left from a one-way street onto another one-way street, you should begin the turn from the far left lane. Crosswalks are a. Always indicated by horizontal pavement markings. b. Always indicated by vertical pavement markings. c. Always unmarked. d. Either indicated by pavement markings or not marked at all. d. Either indicated by pavement markings or not marked at all. Crosswalks exist whether the boundaries are marked or unmarked. You must stop behind the crosswalk to allow any pedestrians to cross. If you need to slow down while driving on a slippery road, the first thing you should do is A. Firmly apply your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. C. Apply your parking brake. D. Pump your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. To slow down on a slippery road, you should first take your foot off the gas pedal. If you need to slow down even more, gently apply a slow, steady pressure to your brake pedal. The speed limit in school zones is A. 10 miles per hour. B. 15 miles per hour. C. 25 miles per hour. D. 45 miles per hour. B. 15 miles per hour. The statewide speed limit in school zones is 15 miles per hour. Always drive with extra caution when driving in an area where you may encounter children or other pedestrians. When in a travel lane on the roadway. A. You may stop to drop off passengers. B. You may stop to look up an address. C. You may make a U-turn or back up if you get on the wrong entrance ramp of the freeway. D. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. D. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. You should not stop in a travel lane for any reason. Instead, keep moving until you can safely pull off of the road. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up. Go to the next turn or exit or where you can safely turn around. Allowing a space cushion between your vehicle and its surroundings is important because it a. Prevents distractions from other vehicles. B. Allows you time to react to unexpected situations. C. Keeps traffic flowing at a safe pace. D. Keeps other drivers alert. B. Allows you time to react to unexpected situations. The only way to be sure you will have enough time to react to mistakes made by other drivers is to leave plenty of space between you and the vehicles around you. A flashing yellow light at an intersection means that you should A. Slow down and proceed with care. B. Continue normally through the intersection. C. Stop and proceed when a green light appears. D. Stop and proceed when the way is clear. A. Slow down and proceed with care. A flashing yellow light at an intersection means caution. If you approach such a light, slow down, look, and proceed with care. When driving on roads that may be slippery. A. Always drive at the maximum speed limit. B. Use cruise control to maintain a steady speed. C. Reduce your following distance. D. Do not make any sudden changes in speed or direction. D. 
Do not make any sudden changes in speed or direction. You should avoid making any sudden changes in speed or direction when driving on a slippery surface. Reduce your speed on slippery roads and do not use cruise control. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. To drive safely at night, you should A. Increase your following distance. B. Not drive if you are tired. C. Make sure your headlights are working properly. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. At night, visibility is reduced. Take steps to make driving in the dark more safe for you and the other drivers on the road. A bicyclist who doesn't obey traffic laws? A. Is in the right because bicyclists don't have to obey traffic laws. B. Can be ticketed. C. Will always receive a warning from law enforcement. D. Will have their bicycle impounded. B. Can be ticketed. All bicyclists have the same rights, duties, and responsibilities as drivers of motor vehicles. Motorists and bicyclists who do not obey traffic laws can be ticketed. If your vehicle has a mechanical problem, A. Signal and pull into the slow lane. B. Stop in your lane and put on your hazard lights. C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. C. Put on your hazard lights and pull off the road. If your vehicle breaks down on a highway, make sure other drivers can see it. Get your vehicle off the road and away from traffic if at all possible and turn on your emergency flashers to show that you are having trouble. To pass a slower moving vehicle on a two-lane, two-way road, you must A. Not cross the center line. B. Flash your lights at oncoming traffic. C. Use the shoulder. D. Use the lane that belongs to oncoming traffic. D. Use the lane that belongs to oncoming traffic. Passing on a two-lane, two-way road requires good judgment because you must use the lane belonging to oncoming traffic to complete your pass. Only pass if you may safely and legally do so. What is the purpose of rumble strips? A. They alert drivers to potential tire problems. B. They test a vehicle's shock absorbers. C. Through vibration and sound, they alert inattentive drivers to the fact that their vehicles have left the travel lane. C. Through vibration and sound, they alert inattentive drivers to the fact that their vehicles have left the travel lane. Rumble strips create noise and vibrations to warn drowsy or inattentive drivers that they are straying off of the road or are approaching a stop sign or signal. When passing another vehicle, A. Pass the vehicle as slowly as possible. B. Drive at the same speed as the vehicle you are passing. C. Pass the vehicle as safely and as quickly as possible. To pass on a two-lane road, you should A. Sound your horn as you pass. B. Flash your headlights as you pass. C. Judge the distance to any oncoming vehicles. C. Judge the distance to any oncoming vehicles. It can be hard to judge the speed of oncoming vehicles. They do not always seem to be coming as fast as they really are. Always be sure you can safely change lanes when passing on a two-lane street. If you are not sure of an oncoming vehicle's speed, 
Wait to pass until the oncoming vehicle has passed and you are sure there is enough space for you to change lanes safely. This sign means A. Watch for bicycles. B. Bicycles not allowed. C. Bicycle repair shop ahead. Distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following? A. CD player. B. Radio. C. Cell phone. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Using a cell phone, including a hands-free phone, or any kind of audio device, including a radio or CD player, can be a dangerous distraction and contributes to the risk of a crash. Always signal when? A. Changing lanes. B. Pulling into or out of a parking space. C. Pulling into traffic from an alley or parking area. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Always use the proper turn signal when changing lanes, pulling into or out of a parking space, or pulling into traffic from an alley or parking area. Communicate with other drivers on the road to help prevent accidents.